Hello beautiful Scorpio, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Marie Rose from Tarot Readings Live and PsychicsLive.com.au. Today we're here to bring you your reading for the next 7 to 14 days. Scorpio, I just want to say thank you to all the beautiful people that have subscribed, commented and liked the videos. I'm so forever grateful and it's so such a pleasure to do readings for people who appreciate the reading and are always here to support. So thank you so much in advance. Lots of love and light your way. Remember, Scorpio, if this doesn't resonate, to release the energy and check your moon and your ascendant sign. So let's see what we have for you. That first one, Fluid, watch and wait. Watch and wait, Scorpio. Something here is, it's something that you're, you're going to gain from waiting. It's like you're, you're wanting something to happen or you're doing something here and they're saying watch and wait. Acting quickly is not going to get what you want. So be reserved in whatever you're doing. If you're selling a house, if you're, um, for example, if you're selling a house, you don't need to take any offers or the first offer that comes to you. Just watch and wait what happens because you'll be surprised. Number eight is prosperity. Something here, the wait is going to be worthwhile here and the wait is going to bring you what you want. Watch and wait. Clear out the clutter. For some of you here, while you're waiting, you need to clear out the clutter. And for someone here, you may want to start something new. And they're saying, that's great. Number two and eight is ten. Ten is becomes a one, which is a new beginning. It's the end of a cycle, and yet an end of a chapter, and a beginning of another. What they're saying here is, Scorpio, that you need to clear out anything or anyone that doesn't bring you any positivity or any growth into your life. Things that you've outgrown, things that you don't want anymore, people that you don't see eye to eye with anymore, situations that don't make you happy anymore. It's time to clear that out. Give it a clean slate so the next chapter of your life has the most prosperous new beginning that you can have. I don't know what this is. For everyone, it's going to be different. But tell me if this makes sense. Look at that. On the bottom, it's be peace. I feel that what they're saying here, Scorpio, is once you've cleared out the clutter and your prosperity comes in because you've waited, you're going to be at peace with life. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio here. What else do we have for Scorpio? Does that make sense to anybody here, Scorpio? Do you need to clear out clutter, things that no longer serve you? Are you waiting for something to happen? Let's see, what have we got for Scorpio, please? Seven of Cup, choices, decisions, making choices. You may have to make choices in the next couple of weeks, but they're saying just wait. Decisions that you need to make or choices that you need to make. You need to look at the whole picture. And then you can only do that if you've got a clear mind, a clear space. A clear vision. Six of Pentacles. Someone's going, you're going to receive something here. And the more you wait, when if you wait and not take the first option or the first opportunity or the first offer, you may get exactly what you want. 
I don't feel it's going to be the first person that offers you something or the first opportunity that comes your way that's going to be the more prosperous one. Queen of Cups. Mm. This could be a new love. Someone who you've been dating, two people who you've been dating, or, or two people who ask you out. Clearing the clutter, if this is about relationships, if this is a relationship, watch and wait. It's like, don't act now because you acting is going to push that person back. You want them to come forward first. And the reason for that is I feel here that you're, you've still got uncertainties. Don't go with uncertainties. And the other thing here is clear the clutter. Anything that you're holding on to from your past, any pain, any uh, um, bad memories, any little vicious voices that come into your head, ignore those. Not everyone is the same. Not everyone is out to hurt you. Not everyone is going to do what you've been through in the past. But I feel here that you may have two offers here, two people that are interested in you. The Ace of Wands, what do I do? Which way do I go? The Ace of Wands is moving forward. You're going to make a decision. It's going to be very clear to you who you want to start a new chapter with. I feel here that you're going to know what you want. And the Ace of Wands is a new beginning, a new adventure. A new proposal, a new, a new opportunity here that presents itself, and it's gonna, it's gonna come out of the blue. It's gonna come exactly how you want it. And the three of pentacles. Look at that. You and two others. This is either a team that you're joining. You're joining a new group, or you've got two, two other proposals or two opportunities here. But you're going to decide here. And I feel that there's two people here with you, either dealing with you, coming forward to you, or you may be part of a group that you're joining, a new, you're, you're forming a new partnership or forming, a, a, being part of a new team. But I feel here that you're going to get a lot of a lot of love and nurturing and, and, and care here in this place or with this person. You may be dealing with two other people. This could be two other real estate agents. I don't know why I got that. Why did they tell me real estate agents? You're dealing with two real estate agents. Someone here is. I got it. The moon. The moon. That's your card, Scorpio. That's that's Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer here. It's a Cancer card. But this this may be choices in regards to what the future holds, what you want for your family what you want for your new beginning. This may be choices that you're making now for your future. And it may involve a partner here, a new adventure with a partner. Look at that, the judgment. The judgment card, it's time to make a decision. It's time to decide here, Scorpio. Although you may be scared and you may have a, a, a few butterflies or doubts, it's time to make a decision. For someone here, you may have to make a decision between two people.
Look at that, the Five of Cups. You will lose somebody here if you don't make a decision. I feel here that someone here will walk. Someone who is coming to your life, giving you all the love and support and the care and the nurturing. If you don't make that decision, they're going to walk and leave you. Leave you where you are to make your own decision elsewhere. I don't think someone's going to wait here. That's what I get here. It's like it's time to make your choices. What do you want, Scorpio? That's what they're saying to you. Somebody here is getting put up against the wall saying, it's now or never. What do you want? Oh. Scorpio, someone is, and here, you're worried in case you make the wrong decision. You're, you've still got doubts. You've still got questions. And, and this may be from childhood. But the call is here. Someone's going to say, enough. Now. Make the call now. What's this about, Scorpio? Tell me. Tell me if this resonates with you. Look at that. The Knight of Cups. I'm here. I'm ready to start a new adventure. Are you in or are you out? I've got all the love to give you, Scorpio. Do you know for somebody here, it could be the other way around. So take this to match what your journey is that you're on right now. But it's like you're you're wanting to propose, you're wanting to, you're wanting a new adventure, you're wanting a new life. But somebody here isn't sure. It could be you or it could be the other person. Which leaves the opposite person in a huge amount of doubt. And that's going to be a Look at that, the Four of Cups. For somebody here, it's like you either took your time or you're worried about. There's someone here, without a doubt, that is looking at all the empty cups that happened before, all the empty promises, all the relationships that didn't work out, all the relationships that fell apart. And with that, you're not looking at this new person, this new opportunity that's here. This, this new love that you can have. This person's real, Scorpio. This person's for real. They took their time, but they're real. Wow, this is either you or them, but somebody here needs to make a decision and the time is now, even with all the fears and doubts. And I feel that this is fear and doubt because of what, what you've been through in the past or what you've experienced in the past. Watch your words. The last card is watch your words. Watch what you say or how you say it. Because this, sometimes Scorpio, and you know what, I'm a Libra as well, and, and you know, very close to Scorpio, right next door, and sometimes we say things, but we don't mean it, how it comes out. But we can be very, very, very quickly judged on what we say or how we say it. So sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And sometimes it is what you say. So, and I find that a lot, that sometimes we say things and people misconstrue that or misinterpret that to mean something else or in another format. But that's just us being open and honest and very real. But it can be it can be misjudged 
or misinterpreted as someone who's cold, who's abrupt, who's rude, when really that's not us. We've got a lot of love to give. And Scorpio is my Venus. So my, my Venus house. So sometimes we sometimes the way we say it or how we say it or what we say can be misconstrued or can be taken the wrong way. I hope that makes sense to somebody. Like the video, Scorpio. Let me know what you think. Check your moon and your ascendant. Lots of love and light. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.